Welcome to the second instalment of JC's Fishing Shenanigans. In this episode, I'm able to take advantage of the beautiful weather that we're having. As I head out to the open water, I catch quite an array of different species. Now, I want you to take note of the rod and reel that I'm currently using because it is quite significant for this episode. Now, let's go fishing. Oh, that was a cheeky little run. They're so small. Ah, just, just stop playing with you. Okay, that's not small. Ah, get out on the reef. Gotta get him up. Oh. Trying to get into the snags. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, off the bottom, off the bottom, yes. Ah, oh, that's when you know you won. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> I get it out! I get it out! That is a solid sweet lip. Oh. Yeah, boy! <laughs> You're a cheeky little bugger. Yes, yeah, aren't you? Trying to get me in the snags and everything like that. That is a beautiful sweet lip. Absolutely great eating. Gorgeous. Sea salt, they call this sea salt, you know what? Tastes all the same to me. But it's got salt, doesn't have enough sea on it though. Oh yeah, it's like dip. Chips and dip in the afternoon. It's just so beautiful. Oh, it gives it that extra smoky flavor. Get a load of this pretty little fish. Everything seemed to be going so well, but it wasn't long until disaster struck. What an awesome day we were having. The weather was great, the fish were biting, we were just having a good old time. The next minute, a C-17 Globemaster flies over, and in the excitement, I put my rod down, I grab my phone out to take a photo. And little did I know that my lure was still in the water. And all of a sudden, something came along and grabbed the lure and just yanked my rod into the water in the blink of an eye. There was little I could do. I was gonna dive in after it, but this thing shot in the water like an absolute missile. And the worst part is I still didn't even get a photo of the plane. After that, things never really felt the same. After a very expensive trip to the local tackle shop and I pulled myself together, I went up to the creek and during the middle of the day in the summer, you quite often hear cicadas and they're actually so deafening that I couldn't stay there for that long, that's how loud they are. Anyway, check out the compilation though of how many I saw while I was up there.
you're like a stray content creator. I gave you one video and you just keep coming back for more. Anyway, fishing gear ain't cheap as we found out. Help your boy out. Hit that like and that subscribe bell. Much appreciated. Ciao. Everything.